As we get older, losing weight and burning fat can become more challenging. You see, the same fat loss strategies that worked when you were 20 may not produce the same results now that you're a bit older. With that said, there are several things you can do to help speed up the process and continue making progress well into your 40s, 50s, and beyond. In this video, I want to share 7 things no one tells you about losing fat after 40 so that you can continue shedding those excess pounds despite getting older. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Number 1. Losing fat will be harder. As you get older, it becomes harder to keep the muscle mass you've worked so hard to build. According to research, you involuntarily lose muscle mass at approximately 3-8% to per decade after the age of 30, and this rate of decline is even higher after the age of 60. And because muscle is extremely metabolically active, the less muscle we have, the less calories we burn. Not only that, but longitudinal studies done on middle-aged men show that total testosterone levels fall at an average of 1.6% per year, while free and bioavailable levels fall by 2-3% per year. According to another study, testosterone greatly affects how you lose weight. And regardless of how hard you train or how well you eat, there will still be a huge disparity in your testosterone levels now compared to 20 years ago. Now, this isn't to say that you should give up on your fat loss goals. To the contrary, achieving healthy body fat levels is more important now than it's ever been. Instead, now is the time to get even more serious about your training, nutrition, and recovery because as long as these three things are in order, you'll have no problem reaching your fitness goals despite your age. Number 2. More Weights and Less Cardio one meta-analysis on 25 years of weight loss research looked at three weight loss interventions, diet alone, cardio alone, and diet plus cardio. They found that cardio alone does not result in significant weight loss. Another study published in the Journal of Applied Physiology showed that resistance training alone resulted in fat loss as well as muscle gain. And while aerobic training did lead to a decrease in fat mass, it also led to a loss in lean body mass, making it a far less attractive option. To put the nail in the coffin of traditional cardio, one study published in the European Journal of Applied Physiology divided participants up into three groups. A strength group that included lifting weights, an endurance group doing cardio, and a strength and endurance group that did both. The strength group gained significantly more strength than the other groups. The results suggest that doing cardio limits your resistance training workouts. Now, this isn't to say that you should avoid cardio altogether. In fact, aerobic exercise is still a great way to improve your cardiovascular health and burn extra calories. That said, if your goal is long-term health as well as fat loss, then make weight training a priority. By focusing on resistance training, Training, you'll not only improve your body composition, but also keep your hard-earned muscle mass and strength even as you get older. And while we're on the topic, there are other things you can do as men to preserve your youth and improve your appearance. That's why I'm excited to have Tiege Hanley as the sponsor of today's video. They help men start and maintain a skincare routine by simplifying the entire process. Honestly, it's the best skincare system for guys like you and me. Personally, I recommend you start with their level 1 system, which comes with all the basics. A daily face wash to get rid of the dirt and grime on your skin, a 2 times per week exfoliating scrub to get rid of dead skin cells, an AM moisturizer with SPF 20 because you should always be protecting your skin from the sun, and a PM moisturizer to help your skin stay hydrated and healthy throughout the night. And if you're anything like me and don't know the first thing about skincare routines, every box comes with an instruction card that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. And if you're not sure that the Tej Hanley skincare system is right for you, check out the thousands of 5-star reviews on their website from men all around the world. In addition to amazing skin, members of Tej Hanley get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off 
the retail price, the ability to customize your box, exclusive monthly deals, pause or cancel at any time, and free US shipping and low cost shipping to most other countries. And because Tiege Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click the first link in the description and you'll get 30% off your first box plus a free gift. So don't miss out on this amazing deal. Click that link and get started today. Number three, you may lose your libido. A caloric deficit, which is necessary for fat loss, can have negative impacts on your sexual function and libido. When you're in a calorie deficit, the body perceives this as a stressor and begins to shut down essential functions to conserve energy. Unfortunately, the reproductive system is viewed as less important than other vital functions, such as maintaining heart rate and brain function. Not only that, but one 2016 study found that calorie restriction is linked to higher levels of cortisol. The more you reduce your calorie intake, the higher your cortisol levels will go. And when cortisol levels are elevated, testosterone levels tend to drop, resulting in a decrease in libido. Fortunately, it is possible to recover from a decrease in testosterone levels caused by a fat loss phase. In a 12-month case study of natural bodybuilders preparing for competition, their testosterone levels fell to a quarter of their base values three months into their preparation. After their competition, however, with an increase in their calorie intake, the participants' testosterone levels recovered back to baseline. Therefore, it's important to recognize that while a calorie deficit may temporarily decrease your libido and testosterone, it's not permanent. That said, to reduce this impact on your manhood, I recommend taking a slow and gradual approach to your fat loss goals. Number four, you'll need to eat more vegetables. As you age, reaching your micronutrient goals is as important as hitting your macros for keeping you healthy and ensuring longevity. Unfortunately, prolonged calorie restriction often leads to micronutrient deficiencies. For example, because of its typically high fat content, you might opt to stay away from red meat on a fat loss diet. But just cutting down on red meat alone can make you deficient in iron, zinc, selenium, potassium, and a range of B vitamins. One study published in the International Journal of Sports Nutrition and Exercise Metabolism found that 50% of bodybuilders on a macronutrient-focused strict diet did not meet the recommended daily intake of several micronutrients. And if you're not consuming enough vitamins and minerals on a high-calorie diet, it's far less likely that you will by eating less. To ensure that you meet your micronutrient needs, I recommend including one serving of fruit and one serving of vegetables for every 1,000 calories consumed. For example, if you're consuming 2,000 calories per day, aim for two servings of fruit and two servings of vegetables. I'd also suggest including a multivitamin or micronutrient supplement such as a greens powder. These provide a convenient and easy way for you to obtain a wide range of essential vitamins vitamins and minerals, making it far easier to meet your micronutrient needs. Number five, consume more protein. While the science is pretty clear that most people won't need more than 0.6 grams per pound of body weight to build muscle, a study conducted by AUT University concluded that energy-restricted athletes will need a bit more. Not only that, but as we age, we experience something called anabolic resistance. This means that your body is not experiencing the same magnitude of positive muscle building effects on an adequate protein diet the way it used to. So, according to this study published in the British Journal of Nutrition, older adults require a higher protein intake to maximize muscle protein synthesis. Another 2016 study found that daily protein intakes well above the current recommended dietary allowance is essential to promote healthy aging regulate appetite, manage weight, and achieve your performance goals. And a more recent study by Bill Campbell et al. demonstrated that 
simply increasing protein intake, even with an increase in total calorie consumption, led to increases in lean body mass and decreased body fat. Bottom line, try to get at least one gram of protein per pound of body weight daily and consider increasing that amount over time as you get further into your fat loss phase. Number six, eat more carbs. While insulin is responsible for pulling glucose from the bloodstream to store it as body fat, it's also responsible for driving amino acids into our muscles, thus elevating protein synthesis, which is critical for muscle retention while restricting calories for weight loss. Not to mention, the evidence is pretty clear that the insulin response from food intake doesn't determine the amount of fat you store. Instead, that is determined by total energy balance. Truth is, any active individual who weight trains regularly should never avoid carbs. Blood glucose and muscle glycogen are the most important elements in the formula for maximizing physical performance. In training in a state where muscle glycogen is depleted is a recipe for decreased performance and muscle loss. I'll also add that despite what you may read on the internet by self-proclaimed fitness experts, research shows that carbs are inefficiently stored as body fat even when overfeeding. In a state of underfeeding, however, it becomes virtually impossible. That said, if you want to maximize your performance in the gym and maintain as much muscle as possible, consume as many carbs as your calorie intake will allow after meeting your protein and fat needs while remaining in a deficit. Number seven, tracking your progress is a must. If you're approaching your fat loss goals correctly, you won't be seeing huge decreases in scale weight from one day to the next. It's also unlikely that you'll wake up and be surprised by changes in your physique when you look in the mirror. Since you'll need to take a slow and gradual approach, paying attention to the details of your training, nutrition, and tracking your progress becomes even more important. In order to avoid being discouraged by the slow, incremental changes in your physique, I suggest keeping a log of weekly waist measurements and taking pictures regularly as this will give you a better gauge of your progress and keep you motivated. So there you have it, 7 things no one tells you about losing fat after 40. And remember, just because things can get a bit more challenging, it doesn't mean you can't achieve amazing results, especially now that you're equipped with the knowledge necessary to avoid pitfalls and maximize your efforts. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll truly help out the channel. And if you're enjoying the content and want to support the channel, all we ask is that you click the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss another video. Peace.